Good evening, junkies. Welcome to eminijunkie.com, your ES Trading Mentors free trading video for Wednesday, May 5th, 2010. Today we had a total of 10 executable trade signals for a max potential of 33 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only, is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups and give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, again this morning we had a lot of negative pressure on the market uh, coming into the open. You can see the market was trending lower. We actually broke beneath uh, yesterday's low and uh, was working our way down. Finally put in our low this morning around uh, 9.13 pre-market. Rallied back up to our moving average and uh, opened at uh, 11.60.75. You can see that we were rejected off that moving average and uh, continued to immediately trade lower and uh, actually broke our Globex low sessions. Right at 11.54.75, we actually put in our low for the day and started trading higher, came back up beneath our Globex low, back up through our moving average, approached the open, pulled back to that uh, moving average, actually got a signal to get long, got our first contract off, didn't get the immediate follow through we were looking for, ended up getting stopped out on that second position uh, for a, a minus two tick loss in that initial trade of the day. You can see the market uh, continued higher, went back up towards that uh, previous day's low. And um, during this move, we actually had a couple signal cross-ups on this stop out. And uh, we actually had an extension trade set up to the upside. And uh, that extension fired right there at that 10 o'clock, right after uh, the news. And that produced targets one and targets two to the upside for 15 ticks as we went ahead and broke through that previous day's low, kind of went sideways for a little bit before finally uh, kicking on up there. So uh, the, this morning actually had a real nice run, made it all the way up to uh, 11.68 before finding, or I'm sorry, 11.67.75 before uh, turning southward again. And again, there was another quick move, another extension opportunity, targets one and targets two to the downside for nine ticks on that particular move, and then a very fast up move. So it was kind of a very fast, whippy action, a very, very tiresome to trade. Uh, you had to really be in uh, full force today. So uh, the market moved higher right into the 1045 confirmation time, got another extension entry, targets one, targets two to the upside, 11 additional ticks. And then, uh, I'm sorry, 11 additional ticks, put in our, our morning highs, came back down through our moving average, gave us a signal get short, targets one and targets two to the downside for 10 additional ticks. And then uh, moving right into the close, we had one final setup, a small little uh, pullback, after we cross the moving average, targets one, targets two, seven ticks. Now between 11.30 and uh, 1.15, we do not take any trades. This is just due to the light volume nature, the uh, increase in volatility. But uh, coming out of the lunchtime dead zone, uh, as we call it, you can see we came up through our moving average, actually got a signal to get long and hit our first target potential, but we did not get it off. It was basically rolled right through, full stop out on that trade. So. Uh, you know, had a had a great morning, and the first thing we do in the afternoon is give up uh, a full stop out for a 14 tick loss. On that stop out move, we had a signal get short. Oftentimes, these are gravy. These work really well for us. But today, only got our first contract off. Only get stopped out of the second. So a two tick loss on the second trade of the afternoon, and then to follow that up to you know go ahead and throw salt in the wound. One more signal. One more full stop out. T zero minus 14. So. Uh, you know, we had almost a, a perfect morning, and then coming into the afternoon, it was just uh, two full stop outs and one reduced risk. So uh, it was uh, not a good start to the afternoon. After that final stop out of the day, we pushed back down to that uh, previous day's low, bounced right off it, pulled back to our moving average. Nice signal entry for 13 ticks to the downside, and I believe that was the last trade of the day. And the market continued to trade lower back to the Globex pre market low and then finally bounced off there. So if you're not keeping track of these previous day numbers, you know, the highs and lows and the Globex session highs and lows, you can see from my uh, daily videos, these levels come into play time and time again. I urge you to get those levels on your chart. So uh, anyway, very active day today, tiresome day. Following yesterday's price action, it's just been, uh, it's been a wild week, I tell you. Um, and that's what happens when you uh, start into a pullbacks and things like that. So ended up, 10 trades for 33 ES ticks, 
I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all of our chart setups, or to join our live trading room and video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks, and make it a great day.